Imagine a car that never needs to stop for fuel, never plugs into a charger, and yet keeps moving endlessly powered by invisible waves of energy in the air. This is not science fiction, but the bold claims surrounding the work of Zimbabwean inventor Maxwell Chikambutso, who says he has cracked the code for a self-powered electric vehicle using radio frequency power. Now the shocking twist is that Germany, the powerhouse of Europe's automotive industry, is reportedly desperate to license this technology before the rest of the world catches on. The idea of a car that powers itself without reliance on fossil fuels or traditional batteries threatens to upend the very foundation of Germany's automakers like Volkswagen, BMW, Mercedes-Benz, and Audi. For decades, Germany has prided itself on being a global leader in engineering excellence, but the rise of electric cars spearheaded by Tesla and now Chinese brands has shaken its dominance. If Maxwell's RF-powered EV works as claimed, then Germany faces a once-in-a-century decision. Either adapt to this African innovation or risk being left behind forever. Maxwell Chikambutso's invention is said to use a system of antennas, converters, and power management units that harvest ambient radio frequency energy from the environment and convert it into continuous usable electricity. Unlike solar cars which depend on daylight or hydrogen vehicles which require complex infrastructure, this RF-based EV would in theory be able to run endlessly as long as there is radio frequency energy in the atmosphere, which exists almost everywhere on Earth. To put it simply, the car would create its own power source, making charging stations, gas stations, and even grid electricity irrelevant for its operation. For a country like Germany, where billions of euros are being invested into charging infrastructure, battery gigafactories, and hydrogen plants, this invention represents both an opportunity and a massive threat. If licensed, Germany could leapfrog ahead of Tesla, BYD, and Toyota, and dominate the next frontier of sustainable mobility. But if ignored, German automakers risk being crushed by a disruptive innovation from Africa that could sweep the global market faster than they can respond. The desperation comes from the timing. Germany's car industry is facing mounting pressure as the European Union sets stricter carbon neutrality targets forcing them to phase out combustion engines much faster than expected. Meanwhile, Tesla continues to expand its gigafactory near Berlin, producing electric vehicles at a pace that German companies struggle to match. And Chinese EV companies like NIO, Xpeng, and BYD are flooding the European market with affordable, advanced electric cars that are stealing away customers who once swore loyalty to German brands. In this chaotic battle for survival, the idea of a self-powered EV appears almost like a lifeline thrown into stormy waters. German executives, engineers, and policymakers know that innovation is the only way to stay ahead. Licensing Maxwell's RF technology would allow them to leap beyond incremental improvements and embrace something revolutionary. But before diving deeper, we need to understand why Germany, of all nations, would be so concerned with this. Germany's economy is built on its car industry. More than 800,000 jobs are directly tied to automotive manufacturing, and millions more rely indirectly on it through suppliers, dealerships, and logistics. The sector represents nearly 5% of Germany's GDP, making it one of the most important pillars of the national economy. Losing global competitiveness in cars doesn't just mean lost profits. It means widespread unemployment, economic downturn, and a blow to national pride. That's why every innovation that could shape the future of mobility is watched with intense scrutiny by German policymakers and industry leaders. So when whispers about Maxwell Chikambutso's self-powered vehicle started making rounds, you can imagine the kind of attention it drew in German boardrooms. Reports claim that Maxwell's car has been showcased in demonstrations, running for hours without being connected to any external power source. While skeptics argue that the science sounds too good to be true, Germany cannot afford to dismiss it outright, especially given the pace of technological disruption around the world. History has taught them harsh lessons. When Japanese automakers introduced fuel-efficient compact cars in the 1970s, German companies initially dismissed them, only to later lose massive market share. When Tesla introduced electric cars in the 2010s, German manufacturers mocked them as toys, until Tesla overtook nearly all of them in market valuation and influence. The last thing Germany wants is to underestimate another disruptive technology, this time coming out of Africa. 
Maxwell's invention also plays into a wider narrative that the next great innovations may not necessarily come from Silicon Valley or Europe, but from unexpected corners of the world. Africa, with its pressing energy challenges and need for decentralized solutions, has become fertile ground for radical technological breakthroughs. Germany sees this and understands that ignoring such developments could be catastrophic. Imagine for a moment what a licensed partnership would mean. A Mercedes-Benz powered by RF technology that never needs charging could redefine luxury mobility. A Volkswagen mass-producing affordable self-powered cars could dominate emerging markets across Africa, Asia, and Latin America. BMW could take performance EVs to a new level with cars that never stop because of energy limitations. The branding alone would reshape the market overnight. Germany could market itself as the savior of clean mobility, not through expensive and complicated battery systems, but through a technology that appears almost magical. But here lies the complexity. Licensing Maxwell's technology is not just a business decision. It is also a geopolitical one. For decades, Western nations have extracted resources and innovations from Africa without giving much credit or control to African inventors. If Germany approaches Maxwell with desperation, it risks repeating the same colonial-style exploitation. However, if Germany approaches with respect, partnership, and fair compensation, it could rewrite the story of technological collaboration between Europe and Africa. This is perhaps why German automakers are treading carefully, balancing skepticism with genuine interest. They know the world is watching, and yet, behind closed doors, the urgency is rising. Every month that passes sees Chinese EV companies expand their dominance. Every quarter, Tesla reveals new breakthroughs in battery technology. Every year, EU regulators tighten the screws on emissions. Germany cannot afford to wait another decade for incremental change. It needs a radical leap now. Maxwell's RF-powered EV could be that leap. But let's step into the science for a moment. Radio frequency energy surrounds us every day. It comes from cell towers, radio stations, Wi-Fi routers, satellites, and countless electronic devices. Normally, this energy dissipates without being captured. But what if you could harvest it continuously, convert it into electricity, and store it efficiently to run a car? That is essentially the principle behind Maxwell's technology. He claims to have developed a proprietary energy converter that takes RF energy and transforms it into usable direct current power, enough to drive electric motors. Skeptics point out that conventional RF harvesting produces very small amounts of power, not nearly enough to drive a vehicle. But Maxwell insists his system amplifies the captured energy through a combination of electromagnetic resonance and specialized circuitry, creating more power than previously thought possible. If true, this would shatter long-standing assumptions in physics and engineering, placing his invention in a category of disruptive technologies rarely seen in human history. And Germany knows it. That is why whispers of negotiations, interest, and potential licensing talks keep surfacing. Because even if there's just a small chance that Maxwell's car works as described, the risk of ignoring it is far greater than the risk of exploring it. Germany is desperate because time is not on its side. The EV transition is accelerating, and without a unique selling point, German automakers risk being reduced to just another set of brands competing in a market led by Tesla and China. Maxwell's technology offers them the chance to lead again. The chance to not just play catch up, but to redefine the game itself. But desperation can also lead to dangerous moves. Some fear that if Germany secures licensing, it might lock away the technology, keeping it secret, slow walking its deployment to protect its existing investments in batteries and infrastructure. Others fear that Germany might attempt to acquire the patents outright, burying them to avoid disruption altogether. Maxwell himself must be extremely cautious. The history of innovators with disruptive technologies is filled with stories of suppression, co-option, or even mysterious disappearances. If his claims are genuine, then the fight over his technology could become one of the biggest industrial battles of the century. And Germany's desperation might just be the spark that ignites it. Germany's automotive giants understand that their future may hinge on whether they embrace this African breakthrough or dismiss it as fantasy. The stakes are enormous because the technology, if proven real, 
would eliminate the entire dependency on charging networks and redefine mobility forever. Imagine cities without charging stations, highways without fuel pumps, and families owning cars that never worry about range or rising energy costs. This vision terrifies some industries while exciting others, and Germany sits at the crossroads of whether to fight it or lead it. Licensing Maxwell's technology would mean betting everything on a new frontier, but ignoring it could mean losing everything to competitors who move faster. In a world racing toward carbon neutrality, solutions that sound impossible may suddenly become the only way forward. Germany is desperate because it sees that future on the horizon, and it knows Maxwell's RF-powered car might be the last chance to reclaim leadership. Whether this partnership becomes real or remains only a rumor, one thing is clear. If Maxwell's invention delivers, then the balance of power in global mobility will shift forever. And Germany knows it cannot afford to be left behind.